So just for fun, I'm going to make a word search. So I'm going to go to alicekeeler.com slash word search. And it's going to ask me to make a copy. And you wait for it. And so as a default list of words here in column B, you can just delete those. And I already have a list. I've copied it to my clipboard. So I can paste in my new words here into column B. And you'll notice that they automatically space out. And once you have your list, you're going to go up to the menu where it says Make Word Search and you Create Puzzle. It's going to require that you authorize it. Allow it. Wait for it and you can watch it as it builds the puzzle right in front of your face. Now while it's doing that, you may have noticed that it started off with the word land and then when it placed shall, it ate the L. So that's kind of a problem. Again, as I scroll over here, you'll notice that it's creating the list as it places it on the puzzle. It'll tell you what cell that that word is starts at, where the very first letter is. And then if you have a zero or a one, if it's horizontal or if it's vertical. So it builds those right over there. Now what's going on here in the center is when it's having a challenge of placing the word. So you'll notice the word chapter is over here. This is the oops list. It tried to put the word chapter here in column F, but you'll notice that it ran into the word glad. So it messed it up. So it said, well, I wasn't able to place that because it intersected with another word because they are really just being randomly placed. So when it's done, hopefully you don't have too many, but these are the words here in the center that don't fit. So they're not on the puzzle. They're almost on the puzzle, but you'll notice it doesn't actually say the word chapter. It says something similar. So what I need to do is go back up to the menu where it says make word search. I need to test for errors because sometimes when it puts a word on there, like the word shell, at first it was fine, but then it got eaten by another word. So right now it's just testing and double checking that all of the words are actually on the puzzle. Uh, it's not actually placing them on the puzzle. So now I need to manually put these words on the puzzle. Now one way to do that, I just highlight, copy, paste. So now the word chapter is on there. Highlight, copy, paste. Now the word dress is on there. Highlight, copy, paste. And the word chest is on there. Or, you know, I can do it manually. So I can, you know, like, shelf. So, you know, this is a good opportunity for you to get a little fancy. So the word doll is not on there. Now the code does not go diagonal. So, you know, I can just put it on there diagonally myself. I'm going to just decide where I want to put them. Strong. S. Well, maybe not there. I don't know what I was thinking. S T R O N. Whoops, that didn't work. Uh, right, so one of the other ways that I can do this is I put equals transpose and I can highlight the word strong and it'll make it horizontal equals transpose parentheses highlight the word bottle excuse me makes it vertical so if you want it it's going to be by default be horizontal so the word common if i just want it to be horizontal i can straight up copy and paste it but if i want costume to be vertical i type transpose in a parenthesis highlight it and then when i push enter it'll make it up and down. Now I'm going to equals transpose. Get these on here. Just for fun, I'm going to do glass diagonally. Ooh, that worked out. I didn't do that on purpose. And wrap. I'm just putting that on there. So now I have all the words. Now the thing that you have to be aware of is you'll see that the word strong was supposed to be right here but it didn't actually fit it. So if this, if you're using this for your answer key, you would have to clean up all the oops. Um, so like this B S L L, you might want to delete it because that's not actually part of the answer key. The word chapter right here, it didn't exactly fit. So if you want to, you can delete those out. 
so that it's not part of the answer key puzzle, but or you can just leave it. You do need to update the puzzle. So it's going to take any words that you have added on here and push them to the puzzle. So I'm going to update the puzzle. All right, and so now that it's updated, here's the puzzle over here on the puzzle tab. You can, now, new features that I've added is view puzzle. So it'll just, it just takes you to the puzzle tab. It's not um, that exciting of code they wrote. But here's the puzzle, and it's really easy to just click on the corner, copy, make a new Google Doc, and just paste the puzzle onto a Google Doc. There we go, right? So that's simple enough. So I just click on what I call the awesome box right here in the corner, copy it, paste it into a Google Doc. So I can do that. If you want, you can choose print puzzle. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a new tab for printing. And you'll notice what that has is it actually puts the word list down here at the bottom. So what I can then do is when I control P print, now it defaults to landscape, so you want to switch it to portrait. But now it's all set for me to print it. And you can add headers and footers and do all kinds of whatever you want to do on that. But you just need to make sure you switch it to portrait. And then you can print. And then the other feature that I've added is make word search. Is that you can copy the puzzle to a new spreadsheet. So if I do that, it's running. What do I want to call this? Sample puzzle. And then in that case, what I need to do is I need to go to Google Drive. And I'll just click on recent because I just made it. And here's that puzzle that I just made. So it has copied the puzzle into a brand new spreadsheet. So if you'd like to leave the puzzle in a spreadsheet without giving out the answer key, as in the original spreadsheet has the answer key. Um, and then it's easy to kind of just use the paint can. If anyone, if you share the spreadsheet with anybody, um, they can just use the paint can to um, find the words in the word search.